fat pike, man. First fish of the year. Nothing huge, but decent one. So just kind of take a look at what we got here real quick. I took a box and I put some one tenth ounce Ned Rig heads. I also have one sixth ounce. And I do have green pumpkin, green pumpkin goby as well. Here's your TRD tickler. I just wanted to throw some different, one, different ones in there for variation. I'll take a different uh, tenth ounce. That one I had on there was fished all last season and caught a ton of fish, so. Got them. What, is it the same one I caught earlier? Don't break me off. I know, I know, I know. Listen, listen, okay. We're gonna do this the nice way. I'm gonna set this here. I'll grab you. There we go. Oh yeah. That was a bite. Start working that net rig faster, they'll bite sometimes. That's a good fish. I knew it would take another run. Biggest one of the day, that's a fat pike. Oh yeah. Look at this. Watched him eat it. See what I mean when I tell you about how I like that Ned rig to be perfectly straight? It doesn't have to be, but if it's not, it, it's gonna affect the action on that. So what I did is I took a 1 10th ounce Finesse Rooms Ned rig jig head, okay? And I rigged it into this green pumpkin, all right? Because when that bait stands up, you want it to stand up straight. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and by the way, another thing that I also did do is I took a thing of the Loctite super glue Put a little drop on the head. That is one thing I like to do. We're gonna go over the rod and the reel for the Ned rig. I got, nope, thought I had line twist, I don't. Um, so let me put it to you this way. Let's make a cast. I use a, uh, a six foot 10 medium power extra fast action rod for my Ned rig fishing, all right? Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, that's a rod that you use for a drop shot, and it is. Uh, that is a rod that I use for a drop shot, a Ned rig, and if I have it, I will also use it for the rare occasion that I use live bait. I only fish with lures, but there is once in a great while when it's like summer or someone has live bait, and I'm like, ah, I'll try it. But all the big fish and numbers and everything that I've caught, 90% of that is going to be with a lure. But anyway, with that six foot ten medium power extra fast action, that is going to be a Corrado spinning rod. That can be any spinning rod. It can be a more expensive one, a cheaper one. I do have a Shimano Stratic. It is a second generation. It is the Shimano Stratic CI4. It's a 3000 FA, and I do like to fill it with eight pound fluorocarbon. Now I have fished a Ned Rig, uh, braid to fluorocarbon like I would a drop shot, and it, it's awesome, it's great, it works. But I have gotten to where I like to fish a Ned Rig with just straight fluorocarbon. And it's the same way I fish a jig, a tube, a Texas rig is with that straight fluorocarbon. Now, 
of course, I'm not going to take this eight pound test and this spinning rod and heavy cover and be throwing it up in there. Okay. But I'm just telling you a lot of the, a lot of the times and places that I'm going to be throwing an Ed rig is going to be in clear water. This isn't exactly clear water, but a lot of the time it's going to be in clear water. It's going to be for smallmouth and largemouth, but a lot of smallies. And it's also going to be in an area where I want that fluorocarbon because it does have close to the same light refractive properties as water. A lot of people say it's invisible. I, I'm not going to say it's invisible because if you, if you put it in the water, you, you can see it. Okay. But I'm just saying it does have its properties and its advantages and so does braid. But yeah, what I can do now is I can show you some of my, well, not some, my top five Ned rig colors that I use. And, uh, the one I have on there now is green pumpkin and the one that I caught the pike with at the beginning of the video to open this year's fishing was also green pumpkin. And that's another thing too. I do have more videos coming, fishing videos, fishing tackle videos. I've just been super busy. So like I said, I do appreciate the help in reaching 30,000 subscribers. Stay patient. There is a lot more coming, but anyway, top five colors. All right. So again, like I showed you at the beginning with the Ned rig box, I did take out some of the green pumpkins and I put in green pumpkin goby, uh, green pumpkin, black and blue mud bug. I do have extra jig heads, but that's besides the point. I'm, I'm always changing up the tackle. My top five Ned rig colors, they're all gonna be a finesse TRD just to make it easier. Number one to start off with is you're gonna have green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is absolutely a go-to. If you're fishing a Ned rig and you don't have green pumpkin, it's probably gonna be a mistake. All right, green pumpkin is a color that if I only had to pick one color, I would pick that green pumpkin. Now, of course, you're going to get days where the water is stained, muddy, or you just think that, that they're going to key on on a black and blue. Well, that's number two is black and blue. All right. So if it's muddy water, if it's stained, I'm going to go to black and blue. Now, sometimes I'll do black and blue in clear water. Sometimes I'll just sometimes I'll just do a color because I don't care. And I, I just want to tie it on there and have fun with it. But up next, you do have the green pumpkin goby color. All right. Now, this color right here, again, it will catch anything largemouth, smallmouth pike. But if I'm going to be fishing for smallies on St. Clair, Lake Michigan, somewhere like that, I am going to take a color that will resemble a goby. Now, the green pumpkin with the black, you're also going to see the goby. The goby portion of this color comes from the yellow and purple flake. And yes, this is going to imitate a goby very well. I am going through this kind of quickly. So again, you have green pumpkin, black and blue, green pumpkin goby. Now you're going to go to mud bug. Now you might be wondering, why would you pick a mud bug? Well, that's going to be because of the copper flake, all right? See how it, it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like, like a pasty, just like bland pumpkin color. And then you have that copper flake on the bottom. That's bait fish all the way. And I almost grabbed the wrong, uh, what do you call it, the wrong bag. And the last color, and I'm going to go over these again one more time, the last color is going to be Canada Craw. All right? Now, if you look at the top of a Canada Craw Finesse TRD, ignore the flake, you're going to see how it's it's like a green pumpkin black flake. That's what a, some of these colors do, is they get a green pumpkin or a black and blue base, and then you flip it over and it's a different color. Well, you flip it over, and you do have your kind of red and yellow flake it almost looks like a watermelon red but that red and yellow flake that's going to be really good for sunny days now again watermelon green pumpkin green pumpkin goby those all work on sunny days in clear water but i will also miss mismatch the colors to different water clarities so again you have green pumpkin all right you have black and blue green pumpkin goby mud bug canada craw my top five my top five colors excuse me fished on eight pound fluorocarbon with a spinning rod now what we're going to do is just for demonstration purposes what we're actually going to do is i'm going to take a where is it a one tenth ounce ned rig jig head and i'm going to show you guys how to rig it and by the way like i said i do have more fishing videos and fishing content coming i actually wanted to make this video because i had a lot of people asking me about my ned rig setup and in the videos i would always say oh it's the spinning rod or oh it's this so i did want to dedicate a video to that so for that i'm going to need to open the pouch that i just closed and grab a plastic got your jig head and your loctite super glue we're going to go over that right now so what we're going to do is we're going to take a green pumpkin out of the package like i said one tenth ounce ned rig jig head all right now i'm going to explain to you the way i do it all right you don't have to do it this way you can do it however you want 
I'm just making this kind of this tackle tip and rod and reel video to show you what I like to do. So you'll see on the bait, the line, okay? I want the Ned, the jig head to go down right in the middle, all right? You'll see that line going down the side. I don't, I don't want it to go with the line. I want it to go on the other part. So I will put, hold it, put the jig head down. Now, Ned Rig Baits by Z-Man have a tech. So you know what that means, it can be a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna thread it onto the jig head and I'm gonna hold it as I'm threading it so it doesn't get mismatched. And you'll see at the end of the top portion of the Finesse TRD bait, there's kind of these grooves. Well, you go to the last groove in the middle of the bait, and that is where you come out with the hook point, all right? And then you go up to the jig head, and that's just about perfect. See right there. It's not perfectly in the middle, but it's close enough. Ned rig. A bait you have to have. Let me put it to you that way.